Hey everybody, it's Brendan from PCTV Reports, and I am at the Boneyard, which is sponsoring a blood drive event. I'm here to participate and learn a little bit more about the process. Let's check it out. So yeah, so we're here with the Boneyard doing a blood drive today, hoping to get about 100 people to show up and attempt to donate to help us get the blood supply up for the summer. Uh, this is the second year we've done this. Last year, um, they contacted us to do a blood drive, and it was such a big success that um, we're hoping that it'll be an annual event, and it's just been a very good turnout so far. So the donation process, um, you show up with a photo ID, um, we register you in our computer, and you have to fill out a health questionnaire about you know, travel medications, stuff like that. And if we find you eligible to donate, um, we do a small physical exam, blood pressure, pulse, stuff like that, and then um, actually do the collection of blood after that. So the whole process, you want to plan on a half hour to 45 minutes. We are up here on blood drives quite frequently, and if you go to our website, uh, utahblood.org, uh, there's a uh, place where you can put in your zip code and you can see if there's any upcoming blood drives that are going to be close to you, and other information on how you can donate with us. Um, donating blood is the easiest way to help someone and save a life. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time, and even if you are nervous about needles, anything like that, I mean, we can talk you through it and um, just try and attempt. Even if you feel like you may not pass, just trying is something that we need right now. Just finished answering a bunch of questions, got my blood tested, and now I'm here to donate blood. I'm not super excited about needles, but that's why it's so important to come out and do it anyway because a lot of people are afraid of needles and there's not enough blood donors out there. So come out here, do your part for the world, do good for your community, donate blood, be like me, O'Leary. Oh, I, I think I lost my free lunch card. Oh no. Get you another one. Definitely not the reason I came down here though. Of course not. I'm definitely not here because the Boneyard is offering a free lunch for donors. No. Pure altruism. Pure altruism, that's right. So what he's doing now is he's uh, sanitizing the uh, area of my arm that the needle will be going in to extract the blood. And he's doing a very fine job of it. I don't think my elbow has been this clean in 15 years. This is it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. For the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes, I'll be just squeezing this ball so the uh, flow of blood is uninterrupted. And then after that, they'll disengage me, and that is another, what is that, a couple pints of blood? This is one pint. Just one pint one of blood. blood. One pint of blood to somebody who needs it. Super easy. I can do it. I'm a tall, lanky guy, all right? The only thing I'm good for is hitting my head on door frames, but even I can do this. I was just told I can save up to three lives with this pint alone. Or ten babies, potentially. Or ten babies! That took me less than ten minutes to donate a pint of blood that can save, like, ten babies, right? It's gonna save ten babies. You're welcome. That was it. And that was it. A little pressure there. And just like that, you can save a life. What color would you like? Ooh, I get, I get to even pick the color of the Band-Aid. Oh yeah, look, we can match Let's get that one. They're gonna match my Band-Aid to the that. color of my shirt because here, they personalize your bandages. We do not clash outfits with bandages. <laughs> no outfit clashing here. All right. I'm fit to go straight to the Grand America Hotel and I will not be ostracized for my off-color dress or attire. So just like that, in under 10 minutes, I was able to donate uh, a whole pint of blood, which will hopefully be used to save lives. So if you have time, maybe take 30 minutes out of your day, fill out the super quick survey, come out here, see if you're eligible to donate, and donate if you can. It's super easy. I can do it. Anybody can do it. This is Brendan from PCT Reports. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.